Yep, and it was a good week. It was an awesome week. We had all kinds of stuff with dress for success or to impress on Wednesday, yes. which went well. We had St. Patrick's Day yesterday, yes. your mom's birthday yesterday, and today it's Friday, so it's a great day. And you know what I'm excited about? Well, I don't know why I wanted to make sure I wore this shirt on Friday is because spring starts next week, and I'm Yay! super excited about spring. I, Woo! Wait a minute, hold on. <coughs> To that point of the clearing of the throat, you know what I don't like about spring? What? Allergies. Oh yeah, yeah, and the mosquitoes. Uh, <coughs> you can almost deal with the mosquitoes a little bit better because it just itches, but the allergies? Yeah. Just white Most out. people get allergies in the spring and the fall. Yeah, I don't get them too much in the fall, but the spring kills me. I gotta stay like indoors, I gotta wear the N95 masks just to go outside and do like yard work or just to hang out outside. It's terrible. I gotta eat local honey and I gotta take an allergy pill every single day and it only kind of works. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. But yeah. I love the warm weather, so. Alright, it's Friday. And you know, normally, so what I used to do is on Fridays, I used to always do this is kind of before uh, you start a program on the yeah. routine. I would do uh, binge worthy weekend. Wait, Binge worthy weekend movie series marathon movies. Yeah. So it was like a series of movies, and I'd tell everybody, hey, go check this movie out because there's like four of them you can watch on the weekend, you know? But I don't do that anymore. But what's really cool, I don't know if you're really into movies. I am. There's tons of really good movies in the theaters right now. Oh. Yeah, you got Spider. No, well, Spider Man's still out. Yeah. But then we got Uncharted is out. And Turning Red is, is still so going to be. It's, um, a, it's coming out soon. Yeah, uh, yeah, I believe on March 22nd. Yep, we have the new Batman movie is out in the theaters. There's lots of good movies in the theaters right now. So, and with, you know, depending upon where you're at with going to the theaters and how you feel about, you know, being around other people and stuff, I love the popcorn. Yes, popcorn, candy, and soda. Mm, I'm just a, the candy, good. However, candy just fills you up more and that yeah. takes away space from me eating more popcorn. Yeah. Because the whole large bag, I can eat an entire large bag by myself. Oh. It's crazy, right? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, she's not too impressed. I'm not either. It's, I'm always shaming myself afterwards. Yeah, shame on you, Carl. That's what I tell myself after I eat that whole bag of popcorn. It's terrible. It's terrible. But there's good movies, so if you're up to it, go check out a good movie over the weekend. And what are we going to do next? Let's check in with our friends, Gabby and Zach. Enjoy! Alright you guys, it's Friday, I know, I don't want to hold you back from your weekend, so I'm not going to talk too long today. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I talk a lot regardless. But we're going to go back, back to the beauty path with Zach, you guys. So this day in history, you guys, we have in 1865, the American Civil War, the Congress of the Confederate States adjourns for the last time. They got together. That means the last time. you got to remember, 1865, the war ended. So this was the last time that the treasonous Confederate States of America were a functioning government as a whole. Yes! I want no Confederates around here. Also, too, the Hawaiian Kingdom signs a treaty with the United States granting exclusive trade rights in 1874. Also very interesting. Last but not least, World War I during the Battle of Gallipoli. Um, three battleships were sunk during the failed British and French naval attack on the Dardanelles. Very skinny little inlet to the sea. And they wanted to take Constantinople or Istanbul. I think it was Constantinople then. Um, seriously, I think it was. It's, it, it has changed names. And, uh, but with that being said, they wanted to get up in there in the Ottoman Empire, but the Ottoman Empire had that thing very well uh, guarded with artillery, and they took out those three battleships, and that turned into be a huge mess overall of a campaign. 
All right, guys, you take care. Think about the huge mess. Later, man. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. Yes, you know, to the weekend. That's what we're thinking about. We try to concentrate, but we we'll always think about what we're going to do on the weekend. I've always got tons of stuff I'm doing. One of these days I'll have a free weekend where I do nothing. Wishful thinking, but at least I can hope, all right? Well, we are on March the 18th. I hope everybody had a fantastic St. Patrick's Day and you didn't eat too many green things and your stomach now is not a gurgly mess. Let's not hope. But today's national day is on Friday the 18th. It's National Sloppy Joe Day. Oh, a really good sloppy Joe. You know, sometimes um, I keep a can of it, and it's not called Sloppy Joe, but they call it Manwich. I keep a can in the cupboard because you just never know when you want something quick. It's one of those kind of, you know, oh, we could do this. And then sometimes I'll make it, and then I'll go out to the freezer, and I don't have any buns. And, you know, bread just doesn't hold up on it. So I've done it where I've just made a pot of rice then, and we threw it over the rice. Turned out not too shabby. It's kind of versatile, you know, but to make, I like to make a homemade sloppy joes. And it's really, they're really easy to make. There's not a lot to it, but they taste so much better. I remember, um, you know, a few days ago I had to pack your own lunch, and I had to pack my own lunch for school all the time. But there were a couple days out of the month that I got to uh, pick to have lunch at school calendar would come out every month so you knew what you were eating for lunch every day. And I don't know why, but I liked the Sloppy Joes. There was something about them. Of course, back in those days, the, the cooks in the kitchen, they cooked everything from scratch. And they were pretty good. We had a really good lunch lady, so the, um, the Sloppy Joes were really good, and the pizza was good. And there was one other, oh, Mac and Cheese Day was really good. She put a lot of cheese in it. Everybody seemed to eat lunch on those days. But I really looked forward to a good Sloppy Joe. You know, and everybody has their way of eating them. It's just the plain Sloppy Joe in there. Some people like to put cheese on it. My husband does. He likes to put on a nice piece of cheese and it melts into it. And I like to put mustard on mine. I don't know. My grandfather used to eat it like that, so I thought it was pretty good. And then, my father-in-law used to like to put lettuce on his. So everybody has a little extra something they like to put on them. Or you just have it plain. Sometimes it can be almost like chili. You can just eat it right out of the bowl with nothing. Because it's just so yummy. It's that sweet and tangy. Hmm. It's a Friday. Oh, it's Friday during Lent. I'd have... I know I can't have meat, sorry. Just, just me. But I don't think I can make a fish one. That one, ooh, fish sloppy joes, no, not good. I'll have to save it for tomorrow. Sounds good. So everybody have a great day and maybe grab yourself a, you know, some buns and some manwich on the way home and have sloppy joes on National Sloppy Joe Day. Sandra Williams. I would like to, you to come along with the journey through me while I review the Hammer film Dracula Has Risen from the Grave with Christopher Lee and the late Veron the recently late Veronica Carlson. More on that later. This movie is one of the best Dracula movies besides the first two in, by the first three installments of Hammer's Dra Vampire and Dracula line. is a different story, but this movie doesn't have Van Helsing, which is the second, but Dracula in this movie 
His presence used by Christopher Lee was actually, um, really well preserved, not just showing him a lot, like in later films would. But this movie has a has some trivia to it that Christopher Lee, grown tired and always being typecast as Dracula, but if Hammer, one of the people top at brass said, Hammer said that if he wouldn't play the role, he would be putting people out of work and out of money. So that was the reason why Christopher Lee only did it because he didn't want to see the crew and other cast members suffer. But there, this movie happens to be rated G by the Motion Picture Association of America which is the equivalent of a children's cartoon movie. It, I would rather go it being rated PG or PG-13 because there's not one but two stabbing scenes with Dracula being stabbed. The question is, what are we going to do about it? I don't know. But, and there's even eyes coming out of his eyes with his final one. I am not unacquainted with evil. But, this movie is pretty good besides that one of the best scenes in it would have to be the opening credits itself how it does dracula has risen from the grave pop up with like the creepy atmospheric music and the awesome title scene like with blood coming down like a traditional vampire flick would this happened to be released by Warner Brothers in Seven Arts Production, which was one of their branches for overseas, and also Hammer Film Productions Limited. Even though this came out the same exact year as Night of the Living Dead, but actually by one week though, not predating it or postdating it, that's kind of a mystery to every fan of horror. I would like to say watch this movie, but one of the last remaining cast members was Veronica Carlson of this movie who recently passed away that I was so wanting to meet her, but now I don't got the chance, which is really sad, but Christopher Lee's Dracula as his presence happened to give me cold chills every time I watch one of his Hammer Dracula movies that I own. But this happens to be one of the one of my personal favorite Draculas. Not all of them. It that would have to go with the original and the 58 one that both launched Lee and Cushing's career as Van Helsing and Dracula. So thank you for coming me on this journey. And always beware of Dracula. Very good, that was awesome, always good stuff. Of course, what's coming up today? Well, Clark, we have our Insta Live, Insta Trivia with, not with me, the Clayton, <laughs> you! Oh, <laughs> or who knows, but yeah. probably me. Uh, um, well, we'll find out, one o'clock. Yes, we will, because uh, always something goofy and fun going on. Last week, we got it out of our system, you know, uh, what we needed to get out of our system and say our goodbyes to yeah. our dear friend. But and anyway. whoever's doing the it's Alive, it's a trivia, don't make me shake that thing. That's right. It's never good to have the thing shaking at you because it's very good. It makes, you know, I, don't think I, I don't think you've ever had to shake it at me, though. Have you? Um, I think I have. <laughs> All right, well, I'll try well, to most of the time, Clayton, no, Clayton's because of being, yes, he tends to mess up his numbers. Yeah, it's not very good at that kind of thing. Anyway, very good. That's at 1 o'clock. Otherwise, have a great weekend, everybody. Good luck. We hope um, you all have a great weekend. We will see you guys next week. Bye for now. Take care, everybody. <laughs>